Are you tired of wasting thousands of dollars on API subscriptions to support all of your automations? What if there was a free alternative? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can eliminate the costly monthly subscriptions for ChatGPT Whisper, CreatorMate, JSON to Video, Cloud Convert, and even tools like Zero Code Kit that allow you to run Python code, and we'll replace it with one tool, the No Code Architects Toolkit. Subscription services like OpenAI, CreatorMate, and JSON to Video run servers on the internet with some code that allows you to access their resources through an API for a monthly fee. And it's very easy for these subscription services to add up. And the No Code Architects Toolkit is meant to replace all of these costly services. And how we help you do that is that we wrote some of our own code that you can easily deploy into your own server and access through an API inside of your own automations at almost no cost to you. Make sure to check out the documentation on GitHub. You can use ChatGPT or feel free to jump into the no-code architects community. Once you have this set up, if you're starting a scenario from scratch, you can come here to make, you can click HTTP, you can scroll down and make a request. Now for the URL, it's going to be the same URL that we copied here. Grab that, come back and drop that into make. Now, depending on which endpoint you are using, you're gonna wanna add the slash and then the full path of that endpoint URL. Let's head back to Postman. I'll head up here to concatenate. I'm gonna grab this part of the URL here. Make sure you grab the slash and everything after it and do not include that actual base URL. We actually copied that earlier right here, so we don't need that. Put this into the URL box here. Make sure not to have two slashes here. I actually have two slashes, so I'm gonna remove one. The method is a post. Next, we have to add the headers. And notice we're just setting the same settings here that we have here in Postman. Postman and the HTTP module essentially do the exact same thing. They just look a little bit different. So we wanna make sure we have that X API key from the headers and that password or the API key directly here in the headers here, X dash API key. And then for that value, we'll put test one, two, three. Now for the body type, we're gonna go ahead and select raw. For the content type, we're gonna go ahead and click JSON. And then for the request content here, we are gonna jump back to Postman. We'll go ahead and grab the body, go ahead and copy and paste. And then I'm gonna go ahead and come back to make, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste this exact code as it was in Postman directly into make. You can go ahead and change this to parse response. Go ahead and click okay. Then you should be able to run once. Now it's calling our server. You should get status code 200 and the data here should give you a response and this should be the concatenated video. We can just copy that right into our URL here. And there we go. It's that video that's duplicated twice. Each clip was nine seconds. So now the total is 18.